Things are a little different now on the channel. Little baby girl is here. Oh my heavens. She's the sweet. She's the <laughs> sweetest girl ever. So yeah, to those of you who've been sending messages, thank you. She's here in good health. Just happy to have a healthy baby here. And uh, that's really all that matters. So today we're gonna be doing some errands in the Tesla Model Y. And I'm gonna show you why this car is the most convenient car you could possibly buy. Really any Tesla, but the three and the Y specifically are great for this. So I have a bunch of errands and returns and dad things to do. So let's shoe up. <laughs> branding goes the only people that wear these are dads and people that work in IT that's it so let's get out there all right so starting off with some of the convenience factors let's go into the Tesla app the way this app works is insane compared to any other car I've driven it just works really well so we go to controls here the trunks obviously open click it immediately goes down so it works very quickly now I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, it's really hot, so we want to get the car cooled down before my wife and baby get in the car, it's currently 92, set it to 63, turn it on, and the car is now starting to cool, as you can hear the AC turning on. So all of that is really nice, and I'm going to show you some other factors that keep the car cool while we're on our journey, so let's go. And I mean, look at some of the returns we got going today, exciting stuff here. Great video coming up here. Uh, awesome accessory that I'm gonna be putting in the Model Y, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss this. Also, a uh, mistake that I made in the video where, in the accessories video where I put in these holders for your AirPods, I actually put them in the wrong way. So in the video, I put them in like this. They're actually supposed to go like this, so this little lip here can keep it in place when you floor your car and win the red light drag races. So I apologize for that mistake, but this will be linked in the description if you want to pick it up. So basically what happens here is it goes here and it lifts your AirPods up to a level to where they can actually use the wireless charging here that your phone uses. So having that lip there uh, gets it in the right position. Again, really nice accessory for only 15 bucks. I love boobies and Jesus. Oh. So I have the car in chill mode. Uh, steering is in standard mode. I think standard's probably the best. But I have it in chill, because we're just trying to chill today. We're doing some errands. We want to run the car efficiently. We're not going to be winning any drag races until we've done all of our chores. Chill mode also extends the life of your tires, for sure. Um, people have said, oh, you can just be easy on the throttle, because everyone in the comments, they have all the answers. For me, it's just, it's just one less thing to think about. Put it in chill mode, car runs more efficiently, and it's better on your tires. So let's show you one thing you can do in your car. And this is maybe obvious to a lot of people, but half people are below average and half people are above average. So we gotta explain everything. So this is gonna be a quick run. I'm probably gonna be in and out in five minutes. So we are going to maintain the car's internal temperature. Sorry, the handicapped lady's drunk. All right, let's see here, excuse me, sir. Hey, just take up all the space. Jesus, Lowe's parking lot's out of control today. But you know what I like about Lowe's parking lot? All the carts are where they belong. Look at this. Go to a Costco, it looks like people... Okay, so we're gonna do a quick trip into the store, and this is one reason this car is so convenient, and I love it. So, this is the standard temp. Click on that. Well, first you're gonna put the car in park. Okay, now we're in park. So now over here, these other options pop, pop up. So the dog's not in the car. We're not camping in Lowe's parking lot. Son of a... We are keeping... So it's gonna keep the temperature at 69 degrees while I head into Lowe's. And uh, we're gonna make a return on this fan that stopped working. We're also gonna go here to sentry mode and we're gonna turn on sentry mode. That way if anyone robs me while I'm in the store, I'll at least know who did it. Lowe's, where's my finger? Where's my finger? There it is. Lowe's return, complete. Target, we're gonna do that last because we're gonna get some groceries. Let's go to Hobby Lobby next. But yeah, the, cool was, the car was kept cool at 69 degrees it's perfect and we're on our way and that's one area where an electric vehicle is so convenient because you're able like a gas car you can't just leave it running in the parking lot right because you'll kill the dolphins you know and mining batteries doesn't kill anything but humans in child labor and that's fine as long as you're not killing the dolphins you're not using straws and killing the turtles we cannot kill those turtles i gotta say 
There is, of all the uh, activist videos on the internet, the one that has caused the most actual activism is that turtle coughing up that straw that was in its nose. And that was probably the only turtle in the ocean that that's ever happened to, but... It's neither here nor there. Look at this lady putting her cart back. God bless you, ma'am. All right, on to Hobby Lobby. Take me to Hobby Lobby, you pig. I gotta say, I did not expect the comfort that these things provide. Like, say what you want about the looks, but they're... Function over form, baby. Function over form. The comfort is there. All right, into Hobby Lobby we go. Jesus. Prostitute should have that at the front door. seen this before they got the date they changed out those little things in the urinal so that's pretty chill here hobby lobby bathroom nice also in the video where i reviewed the cheapest ev in the country i'll have it linked in the description i made a brief joke about a lady wearing a mask alone in her car now it was a joke i don't mean anything by it everyone has to be the butt of a joke and that's what she was that day and you guys in the comment, not all of you, but like 10%, and again, the numbers thing, half the people are above average intelligence, and half the people are below. So, I made a joke that means basically nothing, and you guys are like, you don't understand, she probably has cancer and respiratory issues. What? So I have to interview people now before we make jokes? Like, just, just relax, or don't watch, don't watch, just do that. Dude, Hobby Lobby? is a crazy place. You know the My Pillow guy? There's a book of him looking like a crackhead on the cover of it, and then it turns. <laughs> God. And there was a guy holding the book who had a teardrop tattooed on his face. Oh my word. Hobby Lobby's crazy. They're selling all these religious books. And also, there's a lady walking out. She had like this little nightstand table and it looked heavy and I was gonna help her. But then I thought to myself, is she gonna accuse me of thinking women are weaker? The Andrew Tate, you know, I, I don't know. I don't even know what to do anymore. It's more of the story, I didn't even help her, but I feel like I should have. As far as, ooh, Chalk Macan, nice. The other thing about this is like, you know, I'm driving around, I'm doing a bunch of errands. When you're driving a gas powered car on these short little trips, they're very inefficient. And now electric cars are also, but electric cars turn 80% of their potential energy into forward motion. Whereas gas cars only turn 20% of their energy into motion. The rest of it is just wasted energy. There's that part of it too. There's no perfect solution for, let's clean the air and save the dolphins. There's no perfect solution. Uh, no matter what, people are dying. Um, the animals are dying and we're destroying our planet. Uh, so like really the only solution is get on bikes and start uh, walk and get on bikes and use mass public transportation is the best answer. But no one wants to do that. Everyone wants a fun car and Tesla made an extremely fun car to drive. And uh, that's why most of us are buy them. If the Nissan Leaf was still the only electric car, electric cars would not be possible, but Tesla made something desirable. So, uh, and don't, don't start the comments, oh, the Teslas are, uh, are ugly. That's fine if you think that, but a lot of people don't think that. They think they're very fun to drive and they look good, so that is that. That's that rant. Next chapter. Another convenience factor with the Model Y, really any Tesla, they all have this, is this frunk area. So like in my Macan, it has what's called an engine, so the engine's up there, you can't use it. Area where you're able to store things, and this is the most secure area in a Tesla. Technically, if someone's gonna break in and steal stuff, they can just shatter your window and take everything from the inside, but this, they would need to cut through metal uh, to get into here. So this is the most secure area, but it's also gonna be the hottest area. So if you have like a gun or jewelry or cash, this is where I would store all of that because that's gonna be the hardest to get into. Plus you're going to have a camera right here so you can see the criminals absolutely annihilating the hood of your car. Yes, I am gonna do a comparison between the Macan and the Model Y as far as costs and road trips and comfort. It has the air suspension so it's really nice. Another convenience factor is this huge storage area down here where I have the pucks uh, for mounting the car and then I also have 
Let's see here. Air compressor, that way if a tire is low on air, uh, it's real. It's like the best air compressor, mobile air compressor that I've ever used. So I'll have that all linked in the description. And then there's these pockets here. So there's just unlimited storage that the Model Y has. It just makes it really convenient. The other thing to note is how cheap it is to run this car on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's say I use 40 kilowatt hours of energy on a trip. That's about half, maybe a little over half the size of the battery in my Model Y. If I charge at home, that's gonna cost me $5.60 to put that energy back in the car. So to put 40 kilowatt hours back into the engine, back into my Tesla, it's going to cost about $5.60 at home because I get charged 14, because I get charged 14 cents per kilowatt hour at my house. If I were to go to a supercharger and the supercharger costs 48 cents per kilowatt hour, that would cost me about $19. So it's about a quarter of the cost to charge at home compared to charging in a supercharger. And then that compared to char to putting gas in your car, it's significantly less, especially right now. Another good way to track your costs is using the OptiWatt app. I'll have that link down in the description. Whether you have a Tesla or any other EV, the OptiWatt app lets you track your costs and set your charging times to charge when, so you can charge your car when energy is cheapest. Um, you can also do preconditioning and some other things through the app, so I'll have that linked in the description as well. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you want to keep watching, click this video right here to show 11 ways to make your Tesla or electric vehicle run more efficiently. Thanks for watching.